Hey guys, I know we're at the end of January here, but I did want to talk about the 24 books that I plan to read in 2024. Spoiler alert, I have already read one, but such is the way that YouTube goes. This is just the soonest I could get this video up. So um, let's just start. These are the selection. Um, I will say that there are a number of them, like Leviathan Wakes, that my husband chose for me last year that I didn't get to. So I'm just pulling them over for this year. Um, and we're just gonna try and get to them this year. I didn't let him pick all of them this time. So I did pick some myself, like Blue Screen by Dan Wells. This is a sci-fi dystopian YA, I think. I don't know if it's YA or adult, but um, I did have to pick some myself because if you guys remember last year, I can leave last year's video linked down below, but um, he, my husband picked a lot of classics for me and yeah, that was a bit rough, but uh, A Long Obedience in the Same Direction by Eugene H. Peterson. Really excited to read this one. Curio by Evangeline Denmark. I love this cover. I think this is supposed to be Christian YA fantasy, I think. A Curious Tale of the In-Between by Lauren DiStefano. De De Stefano. There we go. Um, I've been wanting to read this one for quite some time, so I figured now is the time to put it on a list that like pushes me to actually read it, you know? This next one, The Hen Who Dreamed She Could Fly by Sun Mi Huang. Um, this one I picked up because last year, last summer, my parents got chickens on their acreage and uh, I, I wanted to read to them and I never got to it last summer. So I'm going to read to them this summer because I don't know how much longer my parents are gonna be on the acreage. So I wanna make use of this summer to actually read to the chickens. Um, and they are all hens at this point. So the hen who dreamed she could fly seems pretty fitting. Funnily enough, the next one is the book of the Dun Cow by Walter Wengren Jr. Has a rooster and a cow on the cover. I'm really excited to get to this one as well. The Impact of a Single Event by R.L. Pendergast. 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 <laughs> is one that I have also been wanting to read for a while. I started it? No, it's just been on so many of my TBRs. Um, I put it down for all of last year because the years before they were just never getting, it was just never getting read, even though I put it on almost every TBR. So last year I was like, I'm gonna take a break. I'm not gonna try and read this one even. It's not even gonna be on my radar. And so putting it back on the radar. The next one is The Weight of Air by Kimberly Duffy. This one is a new release, I think 2022 or 2023. Um, this is Christian historical, deals with hard topics. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. The, a Face Like Glass by Frances Hardinge. This one was also carried over from last year's 23 books to read in 2023. Um, and I didn't get to it, so I'm gonna try again this year. Same can be said for The Mech by Steve Cash. And A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I think the reason why I just am never drawn to pick this one up is because I've watched the movie so I know where the story goes and what it's about. And I feel like I need to be in like the right headspace to be able to absorb like a sad book like this. So I just haven't been there yet. Then I've got book three of the Dreamkeeper Saga, Lost in the Caverns by Catherine Butler. I read books one and two and really enjoyed them. So I'm excited to read book three. And this cover design is just absolutely magnificent. I love it, except for this, the Dreamkeeper Saga. I don't like that the trilogy name is so prominent because it looks like it's the book title name. I feel like this is the book title name, so it should be a lot bigger. And this should be a lot smaller, but. Oh well, I am excited to read this one. Another carryover from last year is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. This is, I know Katie at Paperbacks and Ponytails. This is like her favorite book ever and my husband really loves the movie, The Princess
Princess Bride, so here we are. I've been wanting to read Dauntless for since I've picked this book up by Dina Sle L. Sleeman. Sleeman. Um, so yeah, now is the time. Read the books you want to read. Another carryover from last year, Taliesin by Stephen R. Lawhead. I don't think I read any Stephen Lawhead last year, actually. Hmm. Interesting. I need to change that for 2024. Another carryover from last year, Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. I feel like I'm going to be bored in this one, which is why I haven't picked it up yet. But let me know in the comments below if you think this is good. Will I enjoy it? Let me know. Fatherless by Dr. James Dobson and Kurt Brunner. This is a Christian speculative, is that speculative fiction? Um, it's like, it's like, okay, so the year is 2042. So it goes into the future, speculating what the future might look like. Is that speculative fi fiction? What is it called when it's like, a projected future but it's not I mean it's a bit dystopian but it's not it's not really a dystopian because it's not that far in the future I don't know let me know I did let my husband pick a few extras for this year and so he picked Mrs. Jeffries Sweeps the Chimney by Emily Brightwell I'm loving this series however Sweeps the Chimney I don't actually know what number this is in the series and I am reading them in order so Hopefully I can get to this one. I think I'm only at like book eight or something. So I don't actually know what number this is in this series. I wish they would have them numbered, but hopefully I can get to this one this year. I probably will. I really like this series. He also picked for me The Search by Carol Fister Olvera. Um, so this one, I think this is Christian contemporary at the time. It is an older book, so. Um, but I believe it has to do with missing kids. Yeah, copyright 1979, so from the 70s. We'll see. Praying for Your Husband from Head to Toe by Sharon Janes. This is one that I picked for myself for this year because I really want to be praying for my husband more than I am. So I'm hoping that this book can, I don't know, inspire more of the passion to pray for people. He also picked Burden of Proof by Davis Bunn. Don't really know anything about this. Christian, contemporary, probably suspense of some kind. This is actually an arc that I got from the thrift store. Let me know if you've read this one, if you think it's any good. Hopefully I like it. He also picked Priceless for me. Um, this is the novelization of the major motion picture Priceless that was inspired by Joel and Luke Smallbone from for King to Country's song, Priceless. Wow, that was a mouthful. So they wrote the song, it inspired a movie, and the movie was novelized into a book. So that's what this is. My mom actually bought this one for herself and read it and enjoyed it and she gave it to me. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. And lastly, Dial M from, I don't know how to say this, you guys. Um, Merde. Merde? <laughs> I have no idea. Please let me know in the comments if you know how to say this word. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. I believe it is secular fiction, um, mystery, contemporary mystery. Is it? I don't think it's historical. Doesn't look historical just based on the fact that there's no dates. There is a map. I really don't know what I'm getting into with this book. So let me know if you've read this one. And there we have it, the 24 books I plan to read in 2024. Now I did tell you at the beginning of this video that I have already read one. So if you can guess which one of these I have already read, um, put that down below and I will give you, and I will reply to your comment with uh, a trophy or a medal emoji. I don't know if there are any emojis with a trophy or a medal or something to let you know that you got it right. So that'll be fun. Let me know which one you think it is that I've already read. Um, yeah, let me know if you've read any of these too, because I'm really curious which ones I should prioritize, which ones I think I will love, which ones, oh, I'm a little dreading. Um, but yeah, 
I'm excited to start a new year of reading. Let me know what are some of your books that you really want to get to this year, even if you don't have like a 24 and 24 um, goal, if there's even just one or two books that you're like, I really want to get to this one this year. Let me know in the comments below. We can chat about it. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye!